James Gunn responds to rumours about Kurt Russell playing Jor-El, a documentary on the life and career of Christopher Reeve is coming, and Superman properties have received nominations in the 51st Saturn Awards. Welcome to the Speeding Bulletin, your Superman highlights video bringing you up to speed on everything that took place in the world of Superman from December 6th to December 12th, 2023. Hi, I'm Steve Eunice. Before we check out these news stories and more, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and click on the bell so you'll receive a notification each time we post a new video. In movie news, in an interview with comicbook.com to promote his role in the Apple TV series Monarch Legacy of Monsters, Kurt Russell responded to the rumours that he's in the running to play Jor-El in James Gunn's upcoming film Superman Legacy. Having worked with James Gunn before on Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, Russell said, you know what, we don't know a lot about Jor-El, maybe there's a version, I never heard this so I don't know, James Gunn was a blast to work with though, so, so you never know. Well, we do know because James Gunn confirmed via his thread social media account that the rumours are false. Kurt Russell will not be cast as Jor-El in the film. He wrote, I love working with and directing Kurt, hilarious and fun and talented guy, but no, this was never discussed. James Gunn also confirmed that Nicholas Holt has been cast as Lex Luthor. On Instagram, he posted this photo saying, yes, finally I can answer, Nicholas Holt is Lex Luthor in Superman Legacy and I couldn't be happier. We went out to dinner at last night to celebrate and discuss how we can create a Lex that will be different from anything you've seen before and will never forget. The news of Holt's casting was reported online on November 20th, but the casting hadn't been officially announced by Gunn because, as he said, although we were discussing it, it wasn't final until a couple of days ago, and I don't want to tell you something that isn't certain. In response to a fan's question, Gunn confirmed that Lex Luthor would indeed be bald in the film. Superman Legacy is scheduled to be released July 11th, 2025. Fans in California will want to get along to the Gardena Cinema in Gardena, California for a 45th anniversary screening of Superman the movie this Saturday. A special screening of the movie will take place at 4pm on Saturday, December 16th. At 3.30pm prior to the start of the film, the Gardena Cinema will present a short documentary film called Valerie, directed by Stacey Souther. Valerie is a 2019 documentary about the life and career of actress Valerie Perrine. Director Stacey Souther will do a Q&A panel after the short film is aired and before the start of the main feature presentation of Superman the movie. Tickets are just $15. Superman, the Christopher Reeve story, a documentary on the life and career of Christopher Reeve, will have its world premiere at the 2023 Sundance Film Festival in January. Never before seen home movies and extraordinary personal archives reveal how Christopher Reeve went from unknown actor to iconic movie star as the ultimate screen superhero. He learned the true meaning of heroism as an activist after suffering a tragic accident that left him quadriplegic and dependent on a ventilator to breathe. Superman, the Christopher Reeve story, is scheduled to be the first film to screen at the Salt Lake event on Thursday, January 18th, 2024. In television news, the cast and crew of Superman and Lois have received three nominations in the 51st Annual Saturn Awards with the Academy of Science Fiction, Fantasy and Horror Films set to reveal the winners on February 4th, 2024 in an event that will be held at the LA Marriott Burbank Airport Hotel and live streamed on Electric Now. Superman and Lois has been nominated for Best Superhero Television Series, while Tyler Hecklin is up for Best Actor in a Television Series, and Elizabeth Tullock has received a nomination for Best Actress in a Television Series. On the animation side of things, My Adventures with Superman has received a nomination for Best Animated Television Series or Special. Additionally, the Superman 1978 to 1987 4K Collection from Warner Brothers Home Video has also been nominated for Best Film Home Media Collection. Tubi, the free TV and movie streaming service available in the USA, has included a number of Superman properties to the on-demand lineup. Fox Corporation's ad-supported video on-demand service announced this week that it has expanded its content deal partnership with Warner Brothers Discovery. Superman the Movie and Superman 2 are amongst the live action films included, while animated movies such as DC Showcase, Superman Shazam, The Return of Black Adam, The Death of Superman and Superman Batman Public Enemies are also available to watch. For fans of episodic TV, Lois and Clark The New Adventures of Superman will begin streaming from December 31st, while both seasons of Krypton are available now. In comic book news, here are the Superman comic books available this week from December 12th. They include Action Comics 1060, which is available in five different variant covers, including an Aquaman movie variant. DC's Twas the Might Before Christmas one-shot, 
is available in two different variant covers. Superman Lost number nine also comes in two different variant covers. Titans Beast World number two comes in three different variant covers. Dark Knights of Steel Volume 2 hardcover. Infinite Crisis 2023 edition hardcover. A new edition of the Superman 78 hardcover. And Young Justice Omnibus Volume 1 hardcover. Our reviewers have already submitted their reviews for these new comic books, with Mark Lax reviewing Action Comics 1060, saying this was an unusual chapter. After everything that happened, we now have magic at the forefront. And he gave the main story a 4 out of 5 rating. Mark also reviewed Superman Lost number 9, giving it a 3 out of 5 score, saying the fact that centers on Lex and Lois is a big plus, and the images of Superman killing Lex are quite startling. Titans Beast World number 2 was reviewed by Craig Beamer, who said... The story is fast paced, the characters are acting true to form, and the explanations are just enough to keep you going, and he gave this issue a 5 out of 5 rating. Craig also reviewed DC's Twas the Might Before Christmas number 1, giving the Superman story a 4 out of 5 score, saying, My only quibble was that it seems to try too hard to hit with the emotional power of Morrison's take on this similar conflict. You can read all these reviews in full at our website, and you can buy these comic books through our website as well. You'll find the links in the show notes below this video. More than just a functional accessory to keep your pants up, these Superman belts are a great fashion statement. Get this buckle down Superman seatbelt belt for $32.16. And how about this buckle down Superman regular seatbelt belt, yours for $31.99. These and other Superman belts are available through the Superman homepage online shopping page at supermanhomepage.com shop. Before we get into the rest of this week's news, if you're finding this video interesting or entertaining in any way, then please leave a thumbs up and a comment below, and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. Also, if you'd like to support the Superman homepage, then you can become an official member of our YouTube channel with different levels of perks. All you have to do is click the Join button below, or you can become a sponsor through patreon.com slash superman homepage. So in the rest of this week's news, Entertainment Earth are now taking pre-orders for the McFarlane Toys DC Superpowers Wave 6 Lord Superman four and a half inch scale action figure. This action figure features approximately five points of articulation and soft fabric cape. He comes packaged in iconic superpowers blister card packaging with updated artwork and logos reflecting your favorite character. Price at $9.99 US and expected to ship in February. You can pre-order your DC Superpowers Wave 6 Lord Superman action figure through our website. Look for the link in the show notes below. Entertainment Earth are also taking pre-orders for both the McFarlane Toys DC Classic Superman action figure and the Bizarro and Batzaro action figure 2-pack. The DC Multiverse Wave 15 Superman DC Classic 7-inch scale action figure is designed with ultra articulation with up to 22 moving parts for a full range of posing and play. This incredibly detailed 7-inch scale action figure showcases Superman in his classic look from the comics. Superman comes with four extra hands and flight stand. Also included is a collectible card with artwork on the front and a character biography on the back. Priced at $19.99 US and expected to ship in February, you can pre-order your classic Superman action figure through our website. The DC Multiverse Bizarro and Batzaro 7-inch scale action figure 2-pack features detailed figures that are fully articulated for posing and measure approximately 7 inches tall. Accessories include four extra hands, an environmental base and Bizarro's medal. Plus two cards with illustrations and character biographies are included. Everything is packaged in a window box and it's priced at $39.99 US and expected to ship in February as well. And once again, you can pre-order your Bizarro and Batzara action figures through our website. Once again, the links are in the show notes below this video. Rocksteady released the official trailer for the upcoming Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League video game. It's up to the Suicide Squad to do what the heroes can't, save the world. Green Lantern, The Flash, Superman. My Justice League will burn this earth down for me. Flash, how do I stop this? You have to kill us, Diana. We have to die to save the world. We can work with that. Watch the full trailer at our website. You can order Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League for PS5, Xbox and PC through our website. The game will be released February 2nd. There's still time to vote for how you think our ongoing Choose Your Own Adventures of Superman saga should continue. Read Chapter 4 of our Brainiac and the Battle for Metropolis story and then decide on what approach Superman should take to exploit Brainiac's weakness 
and save Metropolis from shrinking further. Head to supermanhomepage.com to get involved. There's also time to get involved in the latest Superman Homepage caption contest. Leave as many captions as you can think of for this image at our website. And that's all the news there was for the week, December 6th to December 12th. I'm Steve Yunus. I'll see you next week. Thank you.